Breaking news social security proposal for $2,400 extra checks expanded and reintroduced, strengthening the social security with the proposal for $2,400 extra checks. This means $200 monthly increases in your social security benefits. What does it exactly mean? What this new proposal is all about? Good news for you. $1,400 both stimulus check update specifically focused on people receiving social security, SSDI, retirement, SSDI, SSI, VE, RRB, low income, no income, seniors, older adults, people with disabilities. I have got all the details what you need to know right here in this video regarding the latest update on poll stimulus check on $1,400. Extra social security payments in July 2023. Alongside today, we will be going to cover the social security benefit payment schedule. So without further ado, let's jump right into all the details. However, guys, before we start, make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe and let's jump right into it. Extra social security payments in july 2023 which states are awarding extra payments and what are the benefit issue in state each and every month social security administration sends money to variety of people including retired workers survivors those who receive the health benefits such as social security disability insurance and supplemental security income in 2023 thanks to 8.7% cola the average ssi payment was around 550 dollar per month the maximum monthly benefit to 914 dollars for individuals 1300 $71 for married couples. Now, SSI payments are usually sent out by SSA's tight schedule. However, there are some states which do provide supplemental federal benefits, SSI benefits with additional payments. Yes, you heard it right. SSI benefit along with additional payments. In July 2023, which states will be going to award them and what are the exact dates? According to the SSA's website, there are 33 states that grant the supplemental benefits to those who receive the federal monthly payments from SSI program. In total, there are 33 states will be going to check out the list each and every state having different amount but the average amount comes to about 140 dollars and here is a list of states which do send out extra ssi payment administered by ssa and this one including california delaware hawaii district of columbia iowa nevada michigan montana pennsylvania new jersey vermont rhode island meanwhile there are more states that administer their own extra ssi payment so these extra ssi payment will be sent out by state administration this one including Alabama, Alaska, South Carolina, Colorado, South Dakota, North Carolina, Florida, Connecticut, Idaho, Georgia, Maryland, Indiana, then Illinois, Kansas, Maine, Kentucky, Louisiana, Minnesota, Massachusetts, New York, Missouri, Nebraska, Oklahoma, New Hampshire, New Mexico, Oregon, Ohio, Utah, Texas, Washington, Virginia, Wyoming, Wisconsin. Now when these extra SSI payments will be going to send out? According to the Social Security administration the supplemental payments are sent out about the same time as the federal payments go out so the same exact time when your ssi checks will be heading into your bank account direct deposit checks or mails according to the ssa schedule these benefits will come along with your normal ssi payment so typically all the ssi beneficiary do receive their payment on first of each and every month july 1st is actually happened to be landing on saturday which is again a holiday therefore this month's ssi payment is heading on to june Third. Now, you might need to allow up to one or two additional days, few days additional in order to allow your financial institution to process your payment and deposit it into your bank account. There may be some processing delays or if you are ordering a check, then there will be some probable mailing delays. So please allow few days additional. 3rd July will be important for those recipients who typically receive their payments before May 1997. Next important date is the 12th of July. So let's say if your birth date falls between 1st to 10th of the month, then guys, be sure to check out the 12th of the july for your social security fixed income benefits then next one 19th of the july if your birth date falls between 11 to 20th of the month then be sure to check out the 19th of the july for your benefits to be deposited in your direct express mails checks wherever you typically set it up your payment method next important date is the 26th of the july now this is when if your beneficiaries whose birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month then be sure to check out 26th of the july for your benefits to be deposited we need more people like birth Bernie Sanders who actually care about the senior citizens. Well, he spent entire political career fighting and caring for American and working class and poor people. Bernie Sanders is a true American hero. Do let me know what do you think about Bernie Sanders, but I think Bernie Sanders should have been the president. Don't get me wrong, Bernie Sanders is a one of the advocates who truly knows the pain of low income fixed income beneficiaries and I think Social Security Expansion Act completely manages to package a comprehensive bill that would reform the social 
financial security as well as those people who need it the most will be getting the much needed attention and the benefits. Senator Bernie Sanders formally reintroduced the Social Security Expansion Act right here into the Congress and this time he had a lot more support from fellow lawmakers pushing this initiative. So where we currently stand regarding the Social Security Expansion Act and its expansion? Well, it's definitely encouraging to see the current expansion, the current progress happening onto the Social Security Expansion Act because it will be aiming to provide the much needed benefits and therefore it has gone tons and tons of support from both of the sides whether it's Republican or Democrats. Both of the political spectrum is in high support. Senator Elizabeth Warren and among others are also standing united with the Senator Bernie Sanders in campaigning this important Social Security Expansion Act cause. Now they are determined to ensure that wealthy Americans need to contribute their fair share allowing every American to retire with dignity. In fact, Republican leaders have also stated their commitment to preserving and strengthening the Social Security and Medicare, underscoring its importance to our society. Therefore, the proposed expansion arrives at the critical junction point. We need bipartisan support for anything to happen. Congress needs support in order to get bill passed right here into the Congress. So today, I wanted to address this burning question. What's the latest update on fourth stimulus check? There are tons and tons of people having lots of confusion and uncertainty out there but don't worry i'll be providing you all the details you need to know regarding 1400 dollar fourth stimulus check and this fourth stimulus check is specifically focused on various groups including retirement disability ssdi survivors ssi va low income rrb seniors older adults and people with disabilities the aim to provide this stimulus check is support those who need it the most the reason why i'm making this video likely would have another round of fourth stimulus check and the details surrounding it i wanted to keep you all informed i have to acknowledge things are changing very rapidly in 2023 we are seeing new bills new packages new proposal coming out into the congress every single week and with so much uncertainty it's essential to break down the latest developments to understand what's really going on and how these changes will be going to impact your money benefits and that's why i'm making this video now when it comes down to the stimulus check and benefit increases economy plays a significant role. While there are separate bills and proposals to raise the fixed income benefits like Social Security, SSI, SSDI, stimulus check are entirely different. They serve a different purpose depending on distribution of the money to the people in response to economic conditions as well. To understand the likelihood of another round of stimulus check, we must consider the health of our economy. Economic indicators suggest that economy is still relatively strong. However, guys, things can change very rapidly. The strong economy may not necessarily be a good thing when it comes down to a stimulus check. At the end of the day, it all comes down to economy. No matter how many requests we do to our lawmakers, Congress, how many letters we send them, when it comes down to Congress, lawmakers, politicians, they look at the state of the economy as a key indicator determining likelihood of another round of stimulus check. Also, it's very helpful to estimate the size of another stimulus check if they decide to allocate that. Now, despite the challenges, there are still reasons to be hopeful regarding the next round of stimulus check. Let me touch upon some of the factors that will be really important and those are some factors which are still showing some hope that there is a possibility we should be getting another round of stimulus check. Alright, so let me show you another indicators. Now, these are the factors along with ongoing challenges, changes happening into the economy which could pave a way forward for another round of stimulus check. First one, the impact of the economy. While currently economy is strong, typically considered positive, the current situation is different. A strong economy could lead to higher inflation, which concerns the Federal Reserve. To control the inflation, they may raise interest rates, tightening up the grip onto the economy and affecting the consumers as well. Now, here is the thing. Well, this is where the good news become a bad news. Federal Reserve sees a strong economy as a signal to raise the interest rate further, and this is in an effort to aiming to combat the inflation. Raising the interest rate can negatively impact the consumers, especially those with credit card balances as they will have to pay higher interest rate payment. When we hear good news about the economy such as low unemployment rates, strong economic numbers and increasing wages, but here is where the things change rapidly. The good news is actually bad news when it comes down to the Federal Reserve and their concern about the inflation. Now let's take a look at from a Federal Reserve's perspective. Federal Reserve also known as Central Bank and its chairman Jerome Powell, they closely monitor the state of the economy and to them a good news into the economy like low unemployment and healthy economic growth means one single thing inflation is 
too high and strong economy makes it challenging for inflation to come down and that's why to address this issue federal reserve takes action by tightening their grip onto the economy and raising the interest rate what kind of a impact that will have onto the consumer well you might be wondering how does this affect you me as a individuals as a normal household as a normal american well here is where it hits our home as the federal reserve raises the interest rates it puts pressure onto the consumers take for example credit card balances for example the average interest rate onto the credit card has risen nearly 20 percent up from the last 16 percent a year ago now this simple little change makes it harder for the consumers to pay off their debts and increase the overall consumer debt now consumer debt including credit card debit card is reaching the record high levels surpassing trillions and trillions of dollars now this level hasn't been seen the highest in the financial crisis into the 2008 back then the stimulus check were implemented to help individuals during economic downturn now the current surge into the economic debt raises a concern especially for those of you with adjustable interest rate or floating balances now let's take a look at low unemployment is it good news or bad news although low unemployment rate may seem like a great news on a first sight the federal reserve sees the thing differently they look at it from a perspective as a sign of an overly strong economy and this resulting in higher wages excessive demand for workers consequently federal reserve sees the need to slow down the economy leading to more aggressive interest rate hikes and that's why we need to keep eye on these two important factors two key factors first we need to monitor federal reserve second thing we need to watch inflation closely as it dominates the headlines and inflation is a crucial metric that affects our financial landscape they have a benchmark inflation rate of about two to two and a half percent and they aim to keep it at that level now if inflation remains high it doesn't fall within this range then the federal reserve will continue raising the interest rates aggressively again to combat the inflation now again you might be wondering why that is a bad thing well here is a different perspective to offer you can think of a recession as a great reset you can think of recession as a reset for our economy where end of the one chapter begins the another one now who wants to keep paying higher prices for groceries other everyday items necessities definitely i don't want to pay higher costs i know about you you don't want it either another factor to consider is unemployment rate this raises a very important question about small businesses because they are not making any headlines you have to ask yourself are they also letting up the employees because those trends will be going to play a significant role in determining a severity of recession or a great reset we are calling and that's where a big question comes to our mind when we will be going to receive our stimulus check if recession hits the economy well the severity of the recession will largely determine the likelihood of another round of stimulus check if let's say it's a significant economic contraction there is a high chance of getting stimulus check being distributed right here into the economy and these checks are specifically designed to re-initialize the economy to revitalize the economy by putting the money into the hands of normal american people and encouraging them to spend the money into the economy in different sectors to experience uh, economic growth instantly now let's say if stimulus check were to be distributed well fixed income beneficiaries will be included history repeats itself low income fixed income beneficiaries have been included into the previous rounds of stimulus check and the majority of fixed income beneficiaries such as those receiving social security ssi ssdi retirement low income fixed income beneficiaries have included into the previous round so i don't see any reason why they would be excluded from the future rounds as well now to sum it up we need to understand the relationship between economy and inflation and potential stimulus check is crucial for navigating our financial lives although inflation and interest rate hikes may seem a bad news recession can serve a reset bringing the inflation down elevating the rising prices and the severity of the recession will be going to impact the likelihood of another round of stimulus check you need to keep eye on economic indicators and remember i'll be here to provide you all the latest update all the insights but as of right now no fourth stimulus check for any dollar value has been approved once i get any latest details i will keep you up to date on latest updates so guys make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video